okay this video is going to show you how to change your password and transaction password so in few minutes you are going to look at how to do these things now whenever I log in on a laptop this is how it shows if it is on mobile phone you will see something like this at the top of your screen click on it and this menu will show up immediately you see this all that you need to do is click on profile profile okay or if you go to the top here you will see settings then click on view profile okay it's the same thing so these are the two options you click on profile right from here or you go to the other side and click on settings then click on view profile so let's wait for the page to load then we continue from there you can see it's loading so this is how your page looks like and if you've watched the other video you get to understand what all these things are okay what you see here what they are now this is how your profile shows up this is how your profile shows up okay so it gives you all the details about you the number of referrals that you made then the balance in your account okay total payout then Okay, total income here, total payout here, then the package that you have, the current package. Now, the amazing thing here is that you now have nice view from here, and you can change this if you want. Okay, you can see we have a plus sign here, so you can add your picture over here. Then you can change the cover as well if you want, but I want it to stay like this. Now, look here. We have the overview here. This is what we are seeing. Then here shows your activity. Here is your account settings. Then we have the security settings. We have the payout settings. So last time, from the other video, I was saying that before you can do a payout, you have to do the settings from here. That is the payout settings. If you want to withdraw your money with Bitcoins, you have to enter details about the Bitcoins from the payout here. Okay, we have the repairs. So when you click on them, you get more, get to know more about your repairs. You have the security here. But today, what we are going to do is about the security, creating your password and also your transaction password. Now, we have two-factor authentic authentication. You can decide to enable this, okay? You can decide to enable this. This means that before you can log in, a message will be sent to your phone and a code will be sent to your phone. So, you just need to enter the code before you can log in. This prevents you from scammers and then other kind of people. You understand? Now, let's come here. Let's come here. Before you can change your password, you have to come to this part. To your profile, security settings. Now, here is your primary password. This is the password you need to you use to log in into your account. And this is the transaction password. Password you use to withdraw your money. Now, before you can change the password, you should know the current password, the old password. Okay, so if you know your old password, enter the old password here in this section. Now, this is the new password that you want to change to. Okay, so here you will enter your new password here. Then you repeat the new password at the same time here. So, new password here confirmation of the new password here and click on save okay if you want to change your transaction password okay this is a bit strategic when you create the account already you don't know the transaction password that you have so the first thing you need to do is come down here and click on send password send password Whenever you click on send password, the system will send a password to your email address. That is your transaction password. But if you don't like that password, copy it. It is your current password. So you fix that pass current password that was sent to your email address here. Then here you will enter the password that you want now. A password of your choice. A password you can't forget. Okay, then come here again and reconfirm or confirm the new password. Whenever you do this and save, the new ones that you entered here 
are now your transaction passwords. Okay. In case you've forgotten your password, maybe some months after this, you can still do the same process. Log into your account, click on send password, and repeat the same process. Or use the password that was sent to your email address as your transaction password. So, thank you for watching. This is how to change your primary password and your transaction password. Easy as ABC. So, thank you for watching. Let's meet in our next video.